Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm out at Heroes Park in Meridian. It's a pretty mild day today. It's, uh, I don't know, in the high 40s. A little bit of a breeze. I think it said six mile an hour sustained, 13 mile an hour gusts. I don't feel much wind at all. There is a little bit. Uh, I have the original Hubson Zeno with me again today. Yeah, that's right. I've flown this guy a couple of times lately, and if you've seen those videos, had problems with uh, the older batteries uh, that it gave me battery warnings, battery failure warnings in the app. That was kind of a thing with the latest firmware for this drone, uh, you know, two or three years ago, whenever that came out. Uh, but anyway, what I did is, uh, I bought an aftermarket battery. This is, uh, the original battery is a uh, 3000 milliamp hour. Now I'm not sure if you say that milliamp hour or milliamp hour. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I don't know which is right. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what a milliamp hour is. All I know is the bigger num the n number, the bigger the battery, and the more flight time you get. This is a 4200 milliamp hour battery, and again, the original battery was 3000. So it should have more juice, should have more flight time. Hopefully it's a newer battery. Hopefully we won't get any of those battery errors. If we do, that's a problem, and uh, that will probably retire this drone for good. Uh, but uh, at any rate, there's, I, I always enjoyed flying this guy. Now, do you get the same kind of camera quality that we're used to now with you know our DJI mini drones etc no you don't but does it look okay yeah it, you know especially in its day when this drone came out in uh, 2018 or was it even before that anyway it's been out quite a while uh, it looked pretty good and it was 299 bucks so I used to fly the heck out of this drone haven't uh, flown it a while until recently again had those battery issues so we're going to try out this battery and if this battery works for us we'll get it out there and we're going to show you some features with this drone that work really good better than some newer drones that are out there so uh, let's quit messing around let's get this Hubson Zeno in the air so one of the problems with this drone uh, historically was that the the OTG cables that Hubson gave you were problematic. So I have an aftermarket here, one that I'm gonna use here this time, just to make sure that that doesn't cause an issue for us. I'm also putting the drone in uh, airplane mode. Let's start a screen recording so you guys can uh, see what's going on when we fly this baby. So this drone uh, uses the X Hubson app, not the X Hubson 2 app that all their newer drones use. It uses the old X Hubson app, so we're gonna hit that right now, maybe. There we go. And yeah, it wants to go in the Xeno Pro. Yeah, now it's on the Xeno, so we're gonna enter device and enter main interface. And USB cable is not connected. Sometimes it'll take it a minute. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Uh, and it says switch to sport mode. Well, let's put it back in normal mode. Anybody that knows this drone knows that it doesn't make any difference. Uh, and it looks like Siri is wanting to talk to us here. We're gonna stop that right now. Okay, so I got that uh, straightened out. I had the screen recording stopped, I had to get it started back up again. So one of the things that Hubson does is a device status list, which I really like. It tells you if you have it need any calibrations. And in this case, you can look here, it says, no, it doesn't need compass, gyroscope, or gimbal calibration, so we're good to go. It says that the SD card has 29.71 gigs of memory. Cool, that's great. Voltage 12.5 and 100% battery power. So we're good to go. And we need to bind the aircraft to the current device. You do that by getting the controller down close to the, uh, uh, to the aircraft. And we're gonna click OK. And it says that it's, it's succeeded, they said. So we're good to go. Uh, so yeah, let's switch into video mode and we switch to video mode and this guy I am pretty darn sure I can start video before I take off. Let's look at video frame rate. Yeah, we're in 4k 30 frames per second white balance is on sunny day color is on ordinary uh, Let's switch. Yeah 
yeah, let's leave color on ordinary. Okay, I, I, I thought maybe this one had a vivid and I was going to switch to that. It doesn't, so I'm confusing it with a different drone. Uh, so in any case, let's go ahead and start recording. And again, we're in 4K30. And uh, yeah, there's no reason why we can't take off. So let's hit uh, do an auto takeoff. And there it is. We've got uh, 10 satellites on the app. And you know, a little bit of the Hubson drop, not too bad. A little bit of breeze here. Yeah, now it's dropping down a little bit. What I want to remind you is this drone, uh, it, it has no bottom sensors on it, no uh, uh, optical flow, no, uh, no sonic sensors, nothing of the kind to tell us how, how high it is off the ground, other than GPS and it's got a barometer. So that was one of the things about it that, uh, that we always saw and it was kind of fun to mess. So you see it kind of floating around there. There's no sensors on this guy in any way. No obstacle avoidance, none of that. Let's bring it in here. We're blowing some leaves around. I think I can get it in a little closer, yeah. And up a little bit. Yeah, let's move it back and forth. And you can see that gimbal still works like it should, right? Uh, it was uh, moving side to side and tipping up and down just like it should. We're kind of uh, facing into the sun, so uh, this is, you, you're going to have to take that into consideration for this. And I'm watching it sink right now. Let's drop the camera down just a little. And uh, we're going to do our droney reverse and up now. Reverse and up. And you know what? It, uh, it moves right along. It, you know, it doesn't have a really high top speed, although I see we're up to 8.1 meters per second. Uh, and we're at 33 meters high, so... Let's stop right there for a second. Now I got a little gust of wind coming up here. And you know, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, horizon looks pretty good. I thought I had, uh, I thought that I had grid lines on. Let's go and see if we can turn those on. Grid lines, yeah, let's turn them on there. We got our grid lines now so we can see exactly. So yeah, if we if if I look that we've got a really good, nice, steady horizon, and battery power we're already at 83% battery. So and we started at 100%. So it's dropping pretty fast. And I I'm telling you, I think that's an issue with this drone, uh, with the firmware in the drone. And and one of the things that I'm looking at is on the FPV feed, it's fairly low resolution, and you'll be able to see that on the screen here. Uh, but what I wasn't able to do before was take it across the street. So let's uh, we're just going to get over here in the corner, and we're going to get perpendicular, and we're going to go across the street. And this drone always uh, had pretty good pretty good connection, and this is. This area that we're at here is really kind of a challenging Wi-Fi environment, uh, but you know, so far so good. Uh, so we're across the street, and I can tell you that the the uh, the controls. One of the things I'm noticing right off the bat is I, I just flew the uh, Autel uh, Nano Plus a few minutes ago, and this guy is not nearly as precise as that drone. So let's go out here. Let's see if we can get to the corner of this field out behind the, uh, the Walmart out here. And let's get, some, let's get some altitude. Let's give this guy the best chance we can. Let's go up about, yeah, battery drains too quickly. So that's the same, and it's telling us 0% battery, abnormal battery. That's the same thing we got before. So I'm going to tell you, this is a brand new battery, and it is a high, uh, yeah, and it's dropping in altitude here. Yeah, it wants it to land. Let's see if we can bring it back. Oh, that's a bummer, guys. We're going to have, we're artif I'm artificially having to hold the drone up because it's wanting to land. Doggone it. Let's bring it forward here. Yeah, uh, you know, the only other thing I can do and 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 I like I said I'm I'm holding the uh, I'm artificially holding it up because the software is telling it to land 
and we know we know we've got a a full fresh battery uh so yeah what a bummer let's get it back across here get it out into the field yeah so we're not going to be able to do the testing and so forth that i wanted to do with this guy man that makes me mad uh again what i what i may do is uh is, wow that yaw is really sensitive what i'm and look at look at it try and look at it drop i have to manually uh hold the stick up to keep it in the air <laughs> oh shoot and i'm looking at the drone here it's flying just fine doggone it Uh, I, I, I am confident that this is a firmware issue. I don't know if you remember a couple of batteries ago uh, I had this happen and I just kept it, you know, man, it really, like if I let go of the stick, it's just, it just drops like a rock. It wants to land. No, we're not going to do that. I have to, I'm going to hold that stick up. Sorry about that. Uh, quick movement there. Well, uh, we are not going to get much of a flight in here, guys. So this is about it. Let's, uh, let's bring it in and land it. Maybe I'll restart it and see what happens. Like I said, the algorithm is telling it 0% battery. And like I said, this is a 4,200 milliamp per hour battery. It's, it is not a battery issue on a new battery. There's no way that we have multiple batteries that are all bad. Okay. Well, I almost had it on the pad there. So we are going to stop recording. Just for the fun of it, I am going to shut it down and start it back up again and see if we still get that same error. Okay, I fired it back up again. I shut everything down. We're firing it back up again. Okay, now we're connected. Uh, so it's good to fly. And then, so just to prove my point, look at that. Now it's saying 75% battery. So it's the algorithm that's in that software. I guarantee you that's the problem. Uh, we didn't go from zero to 75, so let's let's try this one more time. Uh, we're going to switch into video mode. I'm going to go in here and uh, got to turn our grid lines on every time. Make sure we're in 4K30. We are. Start recording. Got to bind. Now we'll start recording. Let's go ahead and take off again real quick. With Hubson, it used to be down and out to start the motors, but that's, oh, there it goes, okay. And then I'm pushing up on that left stick. So it just took me a second to do that. And we lost the app here. There we go, we got it back. Let me start that screen recording again. Okay, we're back in business here. I don't know what happened there. I think it pushed the uh, Siri button on my phone. So, uh, so we're recording, so far so good. Let's go ahead and, uh, and kick this guy out there. Let's go out to the corner. Sixty seven percent battery. Let's do like we were trying to do before. Let's head the other, other direction. Let's grab some altitude. And let's see if we can head out across the street. We should be able to do this. And the drone is at its top speed of eight meters per second. Let's see if we can get out there a ways. And it's, it is dropping battery power a little bit. We're at 61%. I would say that's faster than it should. So there's something weird in this algorithm. Already at 59%. Yeah. Grab some altitude. Yeah, and there, yeah, yeah, there we got that uh, abnormal battery. Okay, let's bring it back. 
and it's dropping like a rock. <laughs> uh, so I think, I don't know, I wish I could tell you what, what the issue is. Sure is disappointing, I can tell you that. Because when you know, you know you got battery power and you could do some things and uh, the, uh, the app is, or the, uh, the algorithm and the drone is telling you you can't. So, anyway. Let's bring it on in. There's not a lot we're going to be able to do here, so. And boy, look at it. Look at it. It just brings it right down. It's not messing around. It wants to land. Boom. On the ground. Stop recording. Guys, that was the best I could do. The poor little Hubson Zeno. Uh, okay, let me get it shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Well, I gotta say I'm disappointed, uh, the Hubson Zeno. I was hoping this uh, 4200 milliamp hour battery would do the trick. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm confident it's a problem with the algorithm uh, in the firmware of the drone. There's one more thing I can try, and I like this old drone enough to do that. I'm gonna roll it back to an older version of firmware. I saved all those uh, previous versions of firmware uh, so I think I know the one I can roll it back to and and see if we can get it right so I'll try that if that doesn't work then this drone officially becomes a trophy that uh, sits on the shelf and it's too bad I, I, I hate to see that but uh, but it is what it is uh, you know drones get older so uh, I guess that's about it this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Hubson Zeno, the original.